Hello and welcome back to our channel, The Haven where we aim to deepen our understanding of psychology, mental health, and self-care. Today, we are diving deep into a highly effective self-care framework, widely known as the four rupees of self-care. This critical concept, though simple, can revolutionize the way you take care of your overall well-being. Part 1, The Essential Nature of Self-Care But before we delve into the heart of the four rupees, let's take a moment to revisit and truly comprehend the concept of self-care. Self-care refers to the deliberate engagement in activities that enhance our physical, mental, and emotional health. It is an essential element for managing stress, enhancing our resilience, and promoting overall well-being. In essence, self-care is the key that opens the door to a healthier, happier you. Part 2, Unveiling the 4 Rupees of Self-Care 1. Rest, the first R in our self-care journey is rest. In the hustle and bustle of our fast-paced lives, rest is often overlooked. We need to remember that rest is not a luxury, but a necessity for our bodies and minds. It's not only about getting sufficient sleep but also about incorporating mental breaks and downtime in our day. This could involve deep relaxation techniques, leisurely walks in nature, or simply lying on a hammock and letting the world pass by. 2. Reflect, the second R stands for reflect. Reflection is a powerful tool for self-improvement and self-understanding. It's the act of taking a step back, looking at our experiences and emotions, acknowledging our accomplishments, and learning from our errors. Whether it's through keeping a journal, practicing mindfulness, or meditating on a quiet afternoon, reflection helps us understand ourselves better and navigate our life path with increased clarity. 3. Recharge, up next is recharge, the third R. Recharging is about restoring your energy, about doing things that invigorate you, make you feel alive, and fill you with enthusiasm. It could be physical exercise, dancing to your favorite tunes, painting, spending time with loved ones, or even baking your favorite dessert. The objective is to do things that light you up from the inside. 4. Renew, the final R is for renew. It's about consistently aiming for personal growth, adopting a positive mindset, and continually evolving into a better version of yourself. This could involve setting and pursuing new goals, learning new skills, seeking novel experiences, or fostering healthier habits. Part 3, Applying the 4 Rupees in Your Daily Life Implementing the four rupees in your life is not about making grand changes all at once. Start small, start slow. Identify one activity for each R that you can integrate into your routine. As you get more comfortable, you can expand your self-care activities, customizing your routine to meet your unique needs and preferences. Part 4, The Impact of the Four Rupees of Self-Care Let's take a moment to appreciate the potential impact that the four rupees can have on your life. When we prioritize rest, we allow our bodies and minds to heal, recuperate, and function optimally. By incorporating reflection, we foster a deeper understanding of ourselves and our experiences, paving the way for more conscious and intentional living. Through activities that recharge us, we boost our energy levels and enhance our mood, contributing to increased productivity and overall satisfaction. Finally, the process of renewal helps us cultivate a growth mindset, enabling us to continuously learn, evolve, and flourish. Part 5, The Interconnectedness of the Four Rupees One of the strengths of the Four Rupees framework is its interconnectedness. Each R feeds into and complements the others. Rest can aid reflection by clearing our minds and enhancing our focus. Reflection can help identify activities that truly recharge us. Recharging activities often lead to feelings of renewal, and that sense of renewal can, in turn, motivate us to prioritize rest and self-care. Thus, the cycle continues, fostering a sustainable and effective self-care routine. Part 6, Overcoming Challenges Despite the clear benefits, you might encounter obstacles when trying to implement the four rupees of self-care. Limited time, feelings of guilt, or not knowing where to start are common challenges. Remember, self-care is not selfish. It's okay to prioritize your well-being. Start small, be consistent, and gradually, self-care will become second nature. Conclusion The four rupees of self-care are a powerful framework for nurturing your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual health. Through rest, reflection, recharging, and renewal, 
you are not just surviving but thriving, leading a fulfilling and balanced life. We're glad you joined us today. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe for more mental health and self-care content. Remember, you deserve the time and space to care for yourself. Until our next meeting, take care, and remember to rest, reflect, recharge, and renew.